Welcome to the fascinating world of research concept papers. Today we delve into a vital component of these documents, the schematic diagram. A schematic diagram, simply put, is a visual representation of a concept, theory, or system. It uses symbols, shapes, and lines to depict the elements and relationships within a particular concept. Think of it as a roadmap, guiding you through the intricate details of a complex idea. In a research concept paper, a schematic diagram plays an integral role. It helps to visually communicate the core idea of the research, its components, and their interrelationships. Imagine trying to navigate through a forest without a map. Quite daunting, isn't it? A research concept paper without a schematic diagram is just as challenging. Let's dissect the components of a schematic diagram. First, there are symbols. These are graphic representations of the different elements within the research concept. They could represent anything from data points to processes or variables. The key is consistency. Once a symbol is designated to represent something, it should stand for the same thing throughout the diagram. Next, we have lines. In a schematic diagram, lines are connectors. They link the symbols, showing their relationships and interactions. They can also depict the flow of processes or information within the research concept. Lastly, there's the legend. It's a decoder of sorts, explaining what each symbol and line represents. It's a vital component that ensures the reader can accurately interpret the diagram. Now, how is a schematic diagram used in a research concept paper? It serves as a visual summary of the entire research concept. By looking at the diagram, one can quickly understand the main idea, components, and relationships within the research. It's like getting a bird's eye view of a city. You can see the entire layout, the streets, buildings, and how they interconnect. Moreover, a schematic diagram can help in planning and executing the research. It outlines the processes and steps involved, making it easier to organize tasks and resources. It's a tool for clarity, providing a clear picture of the research concept that's easy to grasp and remember. Now, let's summarize the key points about schematic diagrams. A schematic diagram is a visual representation of a research concept, using symbols and lines to depict elements and their relationships. It's a vital part of a research concept paper, providing a clear, easy-to-understand overview of the research idea. Its components include symbols, lines, and a legend, each playing a crucial role in accurately conveying the research concept. So, the next time you encounter a research concept paper, pay close attention to the schematic diagram. It's not just a pretty picture, it's a roadmap, a guide, a tool that makes understanding complex research concepts a breeze. Remember, a picture is worth a thousand words, and in the case of schematic diagrams, it's worth a whole research.